If you've ever been looking at these types of fonts online that have the pretty swooshes, accent marks, or little hearts that connect the letters, but weren't sure how people actually used these within Canva, then this tutorial is for you. In this tutorial, I'll show you a super simple and easy way to use these fonts within Canva, whereas if I don't show you this hack, typically you'd only be able to use these extra glyphs, is what they're called, within something like Photoshop. So make sure to stay all the way until the end, and I'll show you exactly how to do it and trust me it's super simple before we jump in my name is Cassie Johnson and I'm a full-time Etsy seller and now business coach here on YouTube and I'm on a mission to help make starting and scaling your Etsy business easier and more attainable for everyone and if you like no fluff step-by-step -step tutorials like this then please take a moment to like this video and subscribe for more Let's take a look at a few examples of people who've used glyphs like this and been successful on Etsy. This first one here, they added these little swooshes to the end of the word mama. And if you use the Everbee Chrome extension, which I have a free trial for you down in the description, and this one has sold an estimated 178 times in its first year getting listed. Here's another similar design. This one, they used a little swirl and then added it to flowers. This one has sold an estimated 119 times in its first nine months. And then this one here, they used a glyph letters on top of another word. And this one has made an estimated 1,500 sales in its first two years. Now, I want to be really clear that I'm showing you these not because I think you should copy them or make anything similar to them at all. I want you to take this as inspiration of things that you can do that are a little bit out of the box, but still really simple and nice to make more sales. So one example that you could take for inspiration of that mom design with the two kids' names over top of it, you can make a senior 2023 mom shirt, or you could make a dog mom shirt with the custom dog names over top of it. I did do a personalized listing tutorial last week if you missed it. If you are wondering how to do listings like that where people get to choose the custom names that you then put onto the shirt. So I'll link that video down below if you haven't checked that out already. But again, you want to try and do something different than what's already in the search results. If you just copy the exact same style that the best sellers have, then you're just going to drown with everyone else who copied them as well. So try and take these tips on how to use these fonts and put them into niches that don't have anything that looks like that yet. So let's come over here to creativefabrica.com to pick a font to use for this tutorial. Creative Fabrica is my go-to place for fonts and graphics for my print-on-demand business. There is also a free trial down in the description below for Creative Fabrica for you. You get 10 free downloads of fonts or graphics, and then it renews at only $9 per month for unlimited fonts and graphics for your business. Seriously, it's such a no-brainer. I use this every single day for my business. So I just went to their font section and their script fonts, and there's so many gorgeous ones. You can see this one, the gratitude font, comes with the little swirls that come off of each side. This one, Grinch, has these cute curlies. Winter has these nice swirls here. And again, if you've ever downloaded fonts from Creative Fabrica to Canva, if you don't do what I'm gonna show you later in this tutorial, then you won't have access to all these really pretty swooshes. So the font that we'll use for this tutorial is this Soulmate font. This one has the little swooshes that you can add to the ends of the words, and you can choose which letters you add those to. So I think this would be a really pretty one to actually try. So what you'll start with is click download and download Download it right to your computer. So then you open your downloads folder and you want to open the one that ends in .otf. That's the file we'll actually use. So double click that font and this is actually going to open it up. So you'll wait for it to load and you'll want to install it onto your computer. This is actually going to install it into something called your font book and every computer really should already come with this and that's where it's going to house all of those pretty glyphs that I showed you. So this one again is called Soulmate. So if we search Soulmate and pull up that font, you'll be able to scroll through the options and see all of the nice pretty squiggles that come along with it. So let's show you how to actually use that within Canva. You'll open your blank canvas on Canva and you can click the letter T to open a text box. 
And here we need to upload that font to Canva now to be able to use it. So you'll click on the font name, come down here to upload a font. And then you'll again want to select that OTF file. And because we know with Creative Fabrica, we do have commercial rights to use this font, we'll say yes, upload anyway. So now that we're selected on our font, we want to search that same font. We'll do the soulmate. And let's change this word to hello. So you can see again, we don't really have access to those swirls here in Canva. So then you'll need to reopen that font book that we just had open. You can search it on your computer, or if you still have it open from just downloading to it, you can just open that up. And here you'll see access to all of these letters. So I want to click this letter H and you'll click copy. And now you will delete the letter H here. And I'm gonna click Control V or Command V, depending on what type of computer you have. And now you'll see that I have that H with the big pretty swirl. So now I also wanna do a swirl at the end of the word. So I'm gonna look for the swirl that's connected to the end of an O. So that is the only thing that's a little bit of a pain. You do need to go through and actually find the letter that you're trying to make. So let me just find that real quick. And here is the O, so we'll again copy that. Come back here to Canva, delete it, click paste. And for some reason it likes to put it on the next line. So we'll just extend this, it might be too small. And there you have it. You have a really pretty design with whatever word you like, with the little swooshes on the ends, just like those bestsellers had. So super, super simple. You just need to get used to downloading the fonts to your font book and then copying and pasting those glyphs into Canva and you can create these really gorgeous designs. I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you and now you can use so many more different types of fun font combinations right from Creative Fabrica. And if you haven't gotten started with your print on demand journey yet and you're just watching these videos for inspiration, then this is your sign that it is time to take the plunge and get started today. There is no better time to get started than the beginning of the year to start 2023 off just right. And I do have a free Etsy and POD launch guide down in the description below. It is a nine module mini course that'll walk you through the entire setup process, creating your first design, creating your first listing on Etsy, and just getting everything completely set up all in one day. So feel free to go ahead and sign up for that in the description. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, please leave me a comment down below, like this video and subscribe so you can see more tutorials like this in the future. And again, thank you to everyone who has watched all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.